Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain implicit functions. Uh, before I explain implicit functions, let me explain the term explicit function. So let me title this explicit functions. Let's take a red pen and a ruler, underline this. Basically, explicit functions is any function of the form y equals f of x, and f of x is a function of x only. Okay, so an explicit function okay, is any function of the form y is equal to f of x where f of x is a function of x only so f of x is a function of x only and that is a definition for the term explicit function okay whereas Implicit functions, so that's the topic in hand for this video, implicit functions. So let me take a red pen and a ruler, underline this. Uh, an implicit function is a function in terms of both x and y, and this function cannot be expressed explicitly in the form y equals f of x. So it's a function involving both x and y, and the function itself cannot be expressed explicitly as a function of y equals f of x. Okay, so let me write down that. So a function uh, in terms of both x and y, which cannot be expressed explicitly so it's a function uh, in terms of both x and y which cannot be expressed explicitly okay so it's a function of the form gxy is equal to zero where gx is a function uh, in terms of both x and y Okay. Now, how do we differentiate um, implicit functions? Let me go through uh, two rules to help us uh, differentiate implicit functions. So let me make a note. Let me use my red pen and a ruler. Now, here's my first note. Supposing you wanted to differentiate so if you want to work out d by dx of a y term only. So if you want to differentiate a y term only, so the term over here involves only y, we need to use the chain rule. Okay. So we need to differentiate that term with respect to y. So you need to calculate d by dy of your y term only and then multiply by dy over dx. Okay, so that is how you would differentiate a term involving y only. So by the chain rule, calculate d by dy or differentiate your y term only with respect to y and then multiply by dy over dx. So this comes from the chain rule. So by chain rule. So for example, say, so let me call this example one, let me underline this. So let me call this part A. If I wanted to calculate d by dx and 6y to the power 5, so if I want to differentiate 6y to the power 5 with respect to x, so I have a y term only, so I can apply this chain rule result. So the rule is saying I differentiate my y term only with respect to y 
and then multiply by dy of dx. So let's apply it here. It's d by dy of the y term, 6y to the 5, then multiply by dy over dx. Okay, and if I continue, when I differentiate 6y to the 5 with respect to y, I'll get 30y to the power 4 dy over dx. So that is the outcome for when you differentiate uh, the y term only, which in this case is 6y to the 5. Okay, let me try another couple of examples. So over to the reverse. Here's part B. So if I want to be differentiate, so d by dx of, let's say, um, 2 square root of y. So d by dx of 2 square root of y. So again, I have a y term only, okay? So I don't have um, a combination of x's and y's, so it's just a y term only. So first of all, root of y, you could rewrite this as, so I would write this as 2y to the power half. So square root is the same as power half. And now let's apply the rule. So let's go back, d by dy, of the y term times dy over dx. Now we need to calculate d by dy of our y term only, 2y to, the five, uh, 2y to the power half, then multiply by dy over dx. So if I differentiate 2y to the power half, I'm going to get uh, y to the power minus half. So multiply by the power, subtract one from the power. Multiply by dy over dx, so it's y to the minus half dy over dx. And y to the minus half is the same as 1 over the root of y dy over dx. So that should be the solution to part b. Okay, So you only use this approach, the chain rule related result, to differentiate uh, a y term only. Let's try another one. Part C, d by dx. Uh, let's say d by dx of 2 cos y. Again, we have a y term only, so it's just 2 cos y. I don't have x's and y's, only a y term only. So let's use this chain rule related result. So we need the d by dy of the y term, 2 cos y, then multiply by dy over dx. Okay. Now, when I differentiate 2 cos y, so I have a constant in front, so I can use the standard derivative. So when I differentiate cos, it's minus sign. Okay, so it's going to be a minus 2 sine y times dy of dx. So that is the solution to part c. So just to stress, we only use uh, this method when differentiating uh, a term involving y only. Okay, so going back, that is note number one. Okay, so let me take a red pen and highlight note number one. So only do this when you have a y term only. Let me have another note. So note, let me call this number two. Let's take a red pen and a ruler again, underline the note. Now, if you wanted to calculate, um, or if you want to differentiate, so differentiate a term involving x and y. So if you want to differentiate a term involving both x and y, we need to use the product rule. Okay, so this implies we need to use the product rule. 
So, differentiate a term involving x and y, you need to apply the product rule. And what I would say further to this is, at some stage, we need to go back to note number one in order to differentiate the y term only, okay? So, let me show you with some examples. So, I'll call this example number two. So, uh, let's call this part A rather. So, example 2A. Let me calculate d by dx of 2xy. So over here, I have a function that involves x and y. So I need to use the product rule. So I'm going to take my u in my product rule to be 2x and v to be y. So let me apply the product rule. So let me break it down to, into steps. So step one, by product rule. Let me write down the rule. So d by dx of uv is v du over dx plus u dv over dx. So here's the product rule. Let me continue over here. So in step number two, let me do a side calculation. And let me calculate. So I need du over dx as well as dv over dx. And bearing in mind, u is 2x, v is y. So let me first work out du over dx. So u is 2x. That would make du over dx 2 for when I differentiate that term. And let me do another side calculation alongside this one. v is y. Now remember, I've said that at some point we need to go to note number one and differentiate that y term only using this chain rule related result and this is the very instant so in this instance i have v equals a y term only so let's work out dv over dx carefully so remember the rule differentiate that term with respect to y and then multiply by dy over dx okay so if I continue, dv over dx will be, when I differentiate y with respect to y, it's 1. 1 times dy over dx, dy over dx. Okay? Now, finally in step 3, let me substitute these results that we have from the side calculations into the product rule. So in this case, uh, d by dx of 2xy that is equal to now v v we've chosen to be y so it's y multiplied by du over dx du over dx we found here that's 2 plus and u we chose that to be 2x so 2x multiplied by dv over dx and dv over dx in our side calculations is dy by dx. Okay, so if I expand the brackets, d by dx of 2xy, that is equal to 2 times y is 2y plus 2x times dy over dx, 2x dy over dx. So that is the solution. Okay. So remember, to differentiate a term involving x and y, we need to use the product rule, and at some stage, we need to go to note number one to differentiate that y term only, okay? So let me try another one. Part B, let's differentiate d by dy of uh, 2x squared y squared. So 2x squared, y squared. So again, 
we have a term involving x and y. So I'm going to use the product rule. I'll take u to be 2x squared. I'll take v to be y squared. So step number one, by product rule. So uh, d by dx of uv, the rule itself, is v du by dx plus u dv over dx. Okay. And in step number two, let's do some side calculations. So u I've chosen to be 2x squared. So du over dx when I differentiate 2x squared, that's 4x. Okay. And v is y squared. And at this moment, to calculate dv over dx, we need to go to the chain rule related result, as I've got a y term only. So remember the idea, it's d by dy of the y term times dy over dx. Okay? So if I simplify, dv over dx will be, when I differentiate y squared with respect to y, it's 2y dy over dx. Okay? So let me substitute these results from the side calculations into the main chain uh, product rule result. So let me continue on the reverse. So here is step number three. So d by dx of, and uv is 2x squared y squared. So 2x squared y squared, that is equal to v, so v we've chosen to be y squared. So v is y squared multiplied by du over dx and du over dx we've calculated to be 4x plus and u in this case is 2x squared multiplied by dv over dx and that is 2y dy over dx. Okay, so if I expand, so if I multiply out the brackets, this is what we're going to have. 4x times y squared, 4x y squared, plus 2x squared times 2y is 4x squared y dy over dx. So that completes that example also. So here are the steps involved to differentiate uh, a term involving both x and y. So remember the idea, you need to use the product tool to differentiate a term involving x and y. And at some stage, you may need to use note number one, the chain rule related result, to differentiate a y term only. Okay? So that sadly ends this video. In the next video, I'll continue um, to differentiate more implicit functions. So if you enjoyed this video, a like would be very much appreciated and I hope to see you for the next video.